What's up, y'all? It's Devin Anderson. You now tuned in to my documentary from Overlook to Overseas, shot by BK Visuals. Let's go! BK Visuals presents. Yeah. I got dreams of living lavish. Rich gang and all. In the kitchen whipping magic. Rich gang and all. I got dreams of living lavish. In the kitchen whipping magic. Bad bitches, bad habits. We got London on the track. I've been playing ball for, what, since I was 10? 23 now, so. 13 years over half my life. Not at one point did I ever think it'd take me to a whole nother country. You know, so no matter what you go through, man, just stay faithful to whatever it is, whether it's your career, sport, whatever you love doing. Don't never count yourself out because you never too old to dream a new dream. 12 put me over, call me with the dope, they put my heart away. Heart away. Heart away. Heart away. Y'all been it hard away. Y'all been it hard away. In the skillet with the magic. Bad bitch, bad habits. Yeah, the money gotta have it. I used to dream of living lavish. Now a nigga living lavish. Find fun with to see what's fast. If I ain't eating, then I'm fasting, yeah. Fatty fuck bottle coop, just to see if I can fit in. Yeah. It didn't work, so I gave it to one of my bitches. Oh, it's your video? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why don't you do like a uh, promotional party? No, thing? no, no. My documentary is overseas. Oh, I'm okay. trying to get up out of here, man. I'm about to get going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You watching that? Yeah. Oh, you've been cut my hair. It's 16? Yeah, man. About 16 years old. He came in here. With that I ain't that man. That 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 he out of town, whatever. Like, and nobody when else I, my When head. I moved, I think everybody, everybody that y'all in school with oh, came yeah, back with the Afro that. game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Everybody was turned up for real. Cut, so I had to, I had to quit playing crazy and come through, man. But Rome always believed in me too, man. On the athletic side, like I went through a lot coming up through sports, man, with coaches. And, just me being a different type of head, strong dude, and like no matter what, man, he ain't never, he ain't never stopped believing in me. Like he always knew that, you know, I was gonna have my opportunity, and it was just gonna take me to a different level, no matter, no matter when or no matter where. Uh, so that's why I'm just grateful for him, man. And you know, he just he's a good brother to me. Yeah, man. Those who wait and stay consistent and patient. The Bible says that God is obligated to do things in their life. And I just believe that, you know, in this short time, but seemingly long time of knowing that he definitely been patient and faithful. The Bible says that God will reward those who are patient and faithful. The Bible also says that your gift will make room for you. And I believe that his gift that God has given him is now making room for him in his future endeavors. You know, I'm uh, definitely proud of him and proud to be a part of his life. Not just as a barber, but, you know, again, a big brother, somewhat of a mentor and encourager. And somebody that's just, you know, there to support him in his corner. You know, um, I don't think that God, you know, just by half a chance put people in your life. Everybody has a reason to be in your life, and I'm grateful that God gave me the opportunity to have to impart some of the wisdom that I've gotten over the years into his life. Man, I appreciate that. So, you know, so I just... It's, big, it's bigger than haircuts, man. For yeah. sure. I'm, I'm excited to see where, where he's going to go and where God and the Holy Spirit is going to lead him. Yeah. You know, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all his ways. And I believe that if he continues to acknowledge him in all his ways, man, he can't fail. But that lineup was shot. Yeah. <laughs> this brings back memories back here. So this is the first place I ever lived, first house we ever lived in uh, in Cleveland. Man, I, I stayed over here until I was like 10 years old uh, before we got Section 8. You know, our family was fortunate enough to move 
about you know the inner city but uh this house right here uh 11908 dub avenue man it was me my mom and my sister Ariel. uh now i remember walking to the corner store uh down the street you probably could see it at the end of the street down there man we used to walk we used to walk to that corner store after school every day uh i learned how to ride my first bike over here too so my homie shine shine franklin this white house right here shout out to shine bw grad too and he taught me how to ride a bike, man. I was like four years old. He used to come right up and down this sidewalk right here, man. He took the training wheels off. Uh, my homie Bobby stayed right here in this house. Uh, Tiger stayed right over here. Uh, and then Ryan stayed in this blue house right over here. Uh, but this, this memories, man, we used to walk to Corlette. We used to take this side street every day. Uh, down 120th, we used to walk to Corlette. Sean to come right, right uh, he shine to come wait for me at the house right here. We all just go to school together, man. So. Man, this, this place just bringing back memories right here. Um, you know, it's a pretty rough, it's a pretty rough neighborhood in the inner city in Cleveland. Um, and again, to be fortunate enough to make it out of here, just kind of remember, you know, the opportunity um, that I had and where I came from, it just always, you know, bring me back to right here. Uh, this man right here been living here forever. Uh, so it's just, it's just pretty cool to, you know, just come back and remember everything, man. So. I'm just grateful to make it out of this situation, man. Shout out to Sean, too, man. I appreciate you, man. Big brother forever. Huh. Walk up the next day, went by the bed. Me and my kid. Yeah. I took the heart away. Yeah. Didn't know how to sell crack. Yeah. I was giving that heart away. So fucked up, I had to borrow play. Yeah. That shit took my heart away. It's only right that I come here first. Uh, my childhood best friend, a legend in my eyes, Terry Rogier. Shaker Heights alumni, man. This, this dude overcame so much, man. We used to be up here literally every day. Uh, with Miss Tucker, uh, his grandmother. He used to come here every day after school, literally play basketball all day, man. I'm so proud of this dude. Uh, now playing for the Boston Celtics. Uh, came out of Louisville, sophomore year, first round draft pick. Uh, and I love this dude so much. I'm just so proud of everything he overcame, uh, all the hard work. Uh, shout out to his family for always supporting him and being there uh, with him through everything, man. This, this dude is amazing. Um, we plan one day to come back here, uh, you know, and give back to the kids and, and change the scenery. We'll do some real things up here at uh, Zelda George Recreation Center. So, how do you be? How you, boy? Uh, Rest in peace to uh, Juice, man. This dude was a hell of a basketball player, played basketball um, at John Adams High School. He was, little, he was a year older than us. Uh, but this dude would play with us all the time, man. He'd coach his teachers, uh, compete with us, man. Uh, one of the toughest dudes I ever played against. Uh, rest in peace, Darnell, man. Uh, you truly missed, man. He was a hell of a, hell of a talent, hell of an athlete, man. Yeah. Going all the way down right here. This basketball court right here, man. You see they getting it in right now, man. This is. Seven days a week, all day, every day, man. I learned. I had to be tough here, man. I was nine years old, ten years old, playing with dudes that was 14, 15, taking basketballs from us, uh, telling us we can't shoot in their hoops. Uh, man, but this this place made us tough, man. Guys like Allen Evans, you know what I'm saying, Lil Marcus, Terry Rozier, uh, me, De Niro, uh, Jeremy Grace, shout out Jer, uh, man, Melly, uh, Derek Burgess. Uh, like, man, Lil Mikey, everybody, man, we used to literally be up here every day till close. They used to have to kick us out sometime. We'd be the last one shooting out here. They will put up all the hoops. Um, and it, it was just good to see, you know, this place still standing, people just coming up here, you know, getting workouts. They go shine right there, shine up there hooping. He was just throwing for us yesterday. You know, it's good to see, like, this This is what we do. This is, this is not scripted. This is, we just got up here. Shine, shine was just throwing for me yesterday morning. And I, there you go, right there, hooping out here. He was just off from yesterday morning, man. So, this, this, this is what we come from, man. Zelma George Community Center. Uh, so it, 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 this is what made me. Uh, and again, but I appreciate everybody who ever, you know, came up here, kicked it with us. Uh, and it's, it's a blessing to be able to have this place, man, still here. For us kids who come from the inner city and we surrounded areas. It's 10 minutes up the street from my old neighborhood on Dub, so. All day football, basketball, uh, baseball, man, anything, man. It's just this this our playground, it's our home. Boxing gym right here, man. This is pretty much the story of a lot of people who come from right here, man. Um, you know, 
we had to fight ourselves out a lot. Uh, some strong fighters come out of here, man. Shout out to Levi Patterson, uh, one of the up and coming. Uh, real, real solid fighter out of Cleveland. Uh, we actually went to high school together too. Uh, Levi won a couple golden gloves. Uh, Mate, our Mate. Uh, man, there's a lot of people, man, who doing their thing out here. Uh, got the youth. We, come up here, man. we got Coach Ron right over there. He a legend around here, man. So, uh, see, man, they make sure they work out constantly. Uh, this what we do, man. This all we know in Cleveland, whether it's boxing, football, baseball. Basketball, um, we just, you know, we grind. That's what we do, man. So, see, they got the wall. They got the wall over here to keep the cats motivated. Got Coach Rome over there. Going on, baby. He don't, he don't lead this place. Coach Rome don't lead this place. Uh, but again, there's some strong fighters that come out of here, man. So, man, I just. So I wanted to come back here, man, just to pretty much share my story. Let any kid from the inner city, man, who ever had a, you know, a hard upbringing in life, man, or if you come from a situation where sometimes you think you might never get out of it, or, you know, you're constantly trying to do good, but it's, you know, distractions around you. Um, and I'm just here to tell you that you can do it, man. You, you stay focused, man. You stay grounded. You stay faithful. You keep God first. Um, and just surround yourself with positive people, man, people who really genuinely want to see you do good. Um, because when you hang around, that, that determines a lot about your character. Um, so a lot of times, man, you, you got to stay true to yourself. Um, it wasn't easy growing up over here. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and act like it was. Um, but it was a lot of people who wanted, wanted us to do good. You know, a lot of people who made sure they had our best interests at heart. Uh, when I speak about people like Coach Mike, uh, you know, Coach Dude, Coach Tom, uh, even the parents, man, a lot of the youth, um, you know, they looked out to us. And they made sure they kept us on a straight and narrow. And what we did after that was our, was our choice. But, um, and they, for the most of it, man, you know, we, we, we was good kids and, and we, just wanted, we just wanted an opportunity. Um, so, you know, as we get older, you know, we want to give back and make sure kids who come from similar upbringings and, again, similar backgrounds from us, we want to be on the show on that, you know, it's possible. I come right, I come from inner city Cleveland, you know, and, and, and I'm about to, you know, because of my gifts that God blessed me when I get to, you know, share with the world and go to a whole other country, man. So, no matter where you come from, I don't care how city, how big the city is, how small it is, you can make it out. Um, so, that's, that's my story.